Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, SciTaker. In this video, I'm going to talk about the aptic feedback in the Realme X1 Max device after the Realme UI 3.0 update. Yes friends, after the Realme UI 3.0 update, uh, the aptic feedback in the Realme X1 Max device got very much improved. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate in this video. What are the few scenarios you may be able to notice the huge improvement in terms of the aptic feedback in the Realme X1 Max device. So first thing after the Realme UI 3.0 update, immediately I did notice that whenever you try to uh, click on this uh, close or all applications so right now I'm getting very strong haptic feedback friends usually I, I used to get a little bit haptic feedback but after this realme or 3.0 I'm getting slightly very strong haptic feedback that's something which I did notice and apart from there I did notice that haptic feedback I'm getting whenever I'm trying to uh, decrease and increase the brightness just very tiny haptic feedback so which will be happening on the bottom side so which is a little bit it's not that much big I would say but just a light active feedback I'm getting whenever I try to uh, use this brightness controller in this Realme X and Max device. That's also a really good integration into the haptic feedback system. And overall after this update it feels very strong haptic feedback. It's not like before friends, before it used to be a little bit but not that strong but right now it did feel very strong haptic feedback while using in the Realme Exxon Max device. That's what I did feel while using this one, which is really fantastic. And whenever you try to uh, go to settings option, if you try to reach to the bottom of the screen and top of the screen, you'll get that again haptic feedback, little bit. Slight haptic feedback you'll be getting. And this also integrated into the other applications of, for example, this app drawer where you can actually, uh, whenever you try to swipe up and down, it's also integrated over there. Right now you'll be getting haptic feedback as well. Apart from that, even in the camera application, you will be able to uh, access this haptic feedback when you're trying to uh, change between the options. Except gaming, everything has been included. I'm not sure why the games, uh, we cannot use haptic feedback, for example, in the battery and mobile game. Even right now while typing also it feels very strong and a very good haptic feedback as well. Nothing much major complaints I would say definitely. I wish the Realme could have included this kind of haptic feedback while gaming. So that could be really very good advantage because right now, so iQoo phones they do offer the very good haptic feedback while battery ones mobile came and while playing the Call of Duty. I'm not sure why the Realme cannot do it. So this just in software implementation only, not the hardware. Because hardware is very good friends in this device regarding the haptic feedback. You do get very strong haptic feedbacks, but only the software implementation is not that great in the Realme phone at this moment. That's it friends, thank you for watching and meanwhile signing off until instead of more update is a quick review about the haptic feedback in this device after the Realme UI 3.0 update. Meanwhile signing off until then, bye.